Fabled support, which I want to say before we read these, I think Fabled cards have a lot of potential in general. There's like, there's a lot of Fabled cards that are terrible, but there's also quite a few Fabled cards that are quite good. You know, cards like, cards like Fabled Cerberel, Fabled Ragin, uh, they have their own, like their, their Rhoda, the Fabled Grimroll or whatever. Like there, there's a bunch of, um, there's a bunch of Fabled cards that have potential. There's archetypes where I feel like it's very hard to give them modern support. And then there's archetypes that I could easily see being meta at some point with the right support and the right setting. Fabled, I think, is part of the second category. So I have decent hope for Fabled support to be um, to be good. Um, all right, we've got Fabled Behil Moth. Level 2 Light Beast Tuner Effect uh, Monster. 1000 attack, 600 defense. 600 defense makes this another Cupid pitch target, which if you've ever messed around with Fabled, um, that deck can can use um, Cupid pitch pretty well. Um, like I've been, I've been I've been messing around with Fabled Runic in the past, Shocker, I know. And there it was always a matter of you're going to probably, you want to pitch Cerberel for Hugin and then make a Cupid pitch and then see where you can go from there. This is... If it's a good card, this would be a pretty good um, addition. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card is in your hand, you can discard two or more Fabled monsters, including this card. And if you do, special summon a Fabled Synchro monster from your extra deck whose level equals the discarded monster's total original levels. This is treated as a Synchro summon. If a card is sent from your hand to the graveyard while this card is in your graveyard, you can banish this card, special summon a Fabled monster from your hand. Okay. Uh, I had higher hopes, I think. I, I had higher hopes when I saw the 600 defense because I was hoping for a good Cupid pitch target. If, to me, it feels like it's a little... Um, it feels a little too focused on having multiple Fabled cards in hand, right? Because in order to use its first effect, I need at least one other Fabled monster. And then in order to use its second effect, I need another Fabled monster in hand. So it's like I need to play a lot of Fabled card to, to use this card. But it's um it's it's not bad, right? It's like you discard this and another Fabled level two, you can make Fabled Unicorn. You discard this and another Fabled level three, you can make Fabled Ragin. I forgot they have a level six synchro as well, but I don't remember exactly if it was good or not. Uh, the cool thing about this is that you can pair two tuners together to make a synchro. Like that could be, I could see that being an issue sometimes, right? Let's say you have a, you have like multiple tuners in your hand, but no non-tuners or something. You can just like use this to make a synchro. Uh, ooh, there's a new level four. Okay. Fabled Gammy Jin. Level four light synchro tuner. Light Fiend. Uh, oh, all of this is Light Fiend, probably. Yeah. No, this is Beast. But this is Light Fiend. Okay. Yeah, some Fables are Light Fiend. Uh, materials. A Fable Tuner and a Non-Tuner. You can only use the first and third effect once per turn. If this card is Synchro Summoned, you can Special Summon a Fabled Monster from your hand or deck. Your opponent cannot target other Fables you control with card effects. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can draw cards equal to the number of Fabled Synchro Monsters you control, then this card one card. That's nice. The runic brain is working. <laughs> I mean, you can, yeah. Yeah, Hugin plus Cerberil got a lot better now. Today I learned about Fiendsmith Fabled Runic. Look, it's gonna it's gonna be a while until we get those cards, so we'll see. We've got a Fabled Swarm Liver Zebul. The hell is a Fabled Swarm? Level 10 Light Fiend Synchro Effect Monster. One tuner plus a non-tuner. Generic. Okay, level 10 generic. You can only use the second effect once per turn. Once per turn, during the main phase, you contribute any number of Fabled Monsters. And if you do, take control of that many face-up monsters your opponent controls, but their effects are negated. If this card's in your grave, you can target another Fabled card in your grave, return this card to the extra deck, and if you do, add that target to your hand. Ooh, I like this card. I like this card because it's very simple. It's an end board piece that is not an Omni Negate, but it's a pretty cool interaction. 
right? Because you can... You, honestly, this card can be used in any deck because it's a generic level 10 and you contribute itself. Because it is a fable. So you can just go, okay, I make this level 10, I tribute, I take, and I negate. It's like a Widow Anchor on a level 10 mod. And it's not even... You don't even have to give it back. You don't even have to give it back because it's, it's not until the end of the turn. So it's a level 10 monster that's basically... And actually, the, it's funny because, but the effects are negated is actually a bonus. It's it's not a it's not a negative, because if your opponent normal summons a monster like Snake Eye Ash and uses the effect, you can tribute this card, take the Snake Eye Ash, and it's also negated. Right, it's also negated, and you stole it, which is pretty nice. It's a, it's a, it's, it's honestly not the worst generic end board piece. Now that Baron is banned, I could see people play this without it being too powerful. Or not, you know, like, this is not too powerful. This is fine. This is okay. This, this is not too strong on a level ten in modern Yu-Gi-Oh. Right? This is like, this is what I want end board interactions to be like. I don't want it to be like, yeah, I'll just Baron negate and stuff like that. But the cool thing is, the cool thing is it gets better if you're playing a Fable deck, because then you contribute other monsters to take more monsters. You contribute other Fables to play around, like Halt by the Grave, for example. And also, you get a great effect for Recursion, right? Like, you summon this, you pass turn, you use it, take control of your opponent's stuff, and then you can bounce it back to the extra deck, um, get follow-up back into the hand, yada yada. I love the design on this card. More more cards like that. Uh, and then we've got Fabled Realm Resurrection. Oh, the artwork on this card is nice. Um, continuous spell card. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. When this card resolves, you can set a Fabled spell trap from your deck, except Fabled Realm Resurrection. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects when your Fabled monster is Synchro Summoned. Ooh. Once per turn, you can discard a Fabled card, then activate one of these effects. Draw a card or special summon a Fabled from your grave or banish. Ooh, this card's cool. This card is good. The, um... <laughs> I think this... Every, uh, every old-school Fabled player will love this secondary effect because it means that they cannot interrupt your Fabled Ragin. Um, I don't know if Fabled Ragin is something that people are going to be really building around in modern Yu-Gi-Oh! Because it's too random. You have to empty your hand and then you're getting uh, two random draws to keep going. It's not very reliable. Um, I think the nicest effect on this is the third one because it's just a very, very easy discard outlet. You know, Fabled is a deck very similar and comparable to Dark World in that sense that you need to like combine cards that discard and cards that want to be discarded this is a very easy way to discard your fables in hand to have more effects that discard um if you don't need an extra draw you can also use it as a extender my only question is since this is the last card what kind of fabled spell trap do you set with this because i'm not I'm not super familiar with Fabled spell traps. I know they have a field spell, but that one I think was not very good. Right? The Fabled field spell, there's only two others. Okay, hold up. Uh, let me go to the database. Fabled. Uh, yeah, they got lots of monsters. Some of them good, some of them terrible. There's Fabled Treason. Target a fabled monster in your grave and a face-up card on the field. This card, one card, and if you do, special summon that monster. And if you do that, destroy that card in the field. Eh. Stairway to the fabled realm. When this card is activated, you can send a fabled monster from your deck to the graveyard. Well, that's not terrible. Okay, you get like a searchable foolish. Not the end of the world. You can target a fabled monster in your graveyard, discard two cards, and if you do, add that monster to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. If your fabled monster attacks, blah, 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 small bonus. Okay. Uh, yeah, the second effect is not ideal because, like, adding one back at the cost of discarding two cards can be okay, but is also a pretty hefty cost. Um, but you're playing a fabled deck, right? So whatever you're discarding is probably okay. Um, 
I think it depends a lot on whether there's a there's some good fables with graveyard effects. What's a good fabled with a graveyard effect? I know there's fabled a bunk. Fabled a bunk is just a, a, another card that you can send to the graveyard that has a discard effect, right? Solkius? I mean, Solkius is not great, right? Lurie? I mean, none of the, the, the... I think most of the cards that you guys are mentioning don't have... Those are not graveyard effects when sent from deck to the graveyard. They only work when discarded. Fabled Cruise? What is Fabled Cruise again? No, if this card is discarded to the graveyard, that's not how it works. You can send a Fabled from your deck to the graveyard. You need something that has an actual graveyard effect, not just if this card is discarded. Like Lurry doesn't work, right? Kushano does work. If this card is in your grave, you can discard a Fabled, add this to, add this to your hand, which isn't a good effect, but it kind of works. And a bank, I think a bank is similar. Where's a bank? A bank was on page three. If this card is in your graveyard, you can discard a fabled, and if you do, special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. And it's a level two tuner. This is probably the best one. This is probably the best one. You just like send it to the graveyard and then discard a fable to revive it. That's not bad. Here's the thing about fabled. Um. Fabled is like is a combo deck that I I would like in 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 this in this year. I mean it's probably gonna come out in 2025 for us, right? Or late 2024. I would love for this deck to be good because it's kinda of, it's this kind of like freestyle combo deck that tries to piece together multiple card combos to do something. Um there's I don't think, at, at least to my knowledge, there's no like crazy one card combo with with these sort of things it's just a whole lot of you know we're gonna like look at look at the hand and see what it can do and draw a couple cards along the way maybe uh and see what happens i would love for something like that to be good uh in the current state that Yu-Gi-Oh is it's probably a little too inconsistent and re unreliable as to what it's gonna do but it's, it looks fun to me. I've always been a fan of Fable. I liked Fable back when it came out, like when it was like Ragin' Turbo and stuff like that. I, I've been a fan of Fable. I like it. I, I like it feels very, this support feels very in line with the identity of the Fable deck, right? Like it's very much fitting for Fable to receive these kind of cards. And I'm especially a huge fan of the level 10 card, which no matter no matter if this deck ends up being good or not, I think the level 10 is something that is worth looking at in any sort of deck that can just generically make level 10s. Because this is this can be a good end board piece, but it can also be a solid, very solid synchro to make when you're playing into a board, right? Because it's three over 3,000 attack and it's a non-target steal. So if you make it into your opponent's board when you go second, you can like threaten a huge attack or you can threaten just taking non-target, taking one of their monsters. So the level 10 synchro, I'm a huge fan of. No matter what, no matter what happens to the fabled archetype, the level 10 is really good. 